There were thousands who followed him, hundreds who knew him, and twelve who were his good friends, and I was lucky to be one of them. Lucky because I had a lot of questions. Who do you choose to follow in your life? Who do you want to listen to it and give your life up for? Not just anyone, but the more I hung around, I knew this man was different. As I hung around, a lot of my questions, I started to find answers. And I was glad. It helped me know, it helped me understand, it helped me believe. But one day, it all changed. All of a sudden, this person who said he had power over death, he died. It just didn't make sense. The questions tumbled in my head and I, I just lost nights of sleep. It didn't make sense. It was like a sick joke that everything I believed was gone. After that, you know, my friend said, oh, he met 10 of us. 10? What about me? It didn't make sense. I didn't know what to do. And then as we sat talking one night, there in the room, the doors were locked. We were there, trying to figure it out, trying to wrap our head around it. And he showed up. In a locked room, I was baffled. He looked right at me, almost through me, knowing what I was thinking. He knew I doubted. He knew I feared. And he said, touch my hands. Come see me. No, believe. And wow, do I believe. It's amazing. People say that when he was there, they were his followers. I was one of them. I was a follower. But now, I'm a believer. My name is Thomas. And some people might say I'm a doubting Thomas, but you know what? I met Jesus.